hello. Today I'm going to be sharing you the secrets to getting the Kim Kardashian J-Lo glass hair. If you are new here, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you never miss any secrets in the beauty industry. I've been working in the beauty industry for the past 12 years. During that time, I actually worked right beside Kim Kardashian's stylist, Chris Appleton. Chris Appleton is the guy that came up with the whole glass hair phenomenon. He started this as his signature look with Color Wow's Dream Coat. I've also been to the Color Wow lab and actually seen them create Dream Coat, which is really, really cool. Let's just jump right into the video and I'm going to show you how we got this look. So the first step that we're going to do on clean towel dried hair, we are going to take our Color Wow Dream Coat. We are going to spray, I mean spray, I mean soak our hair with this product. You wanna make sure that it's almost fully wet again. You don't wanna really use any other products underneath this one because what it will do is it will create a barrier around each hair strand and it will lock whatever products underneath it so it can almost feel a little bit greasy. Now that that's all in, we're going to blow dry our hair with a boar's hair brush. I use a boar's hair brush because I find that it, this gets it a lot smoother for me. So we're gonna go ahead and blow dry that in. Comment down below if you tend to get really frizzy hair in the humidity. You'll notice while I'm blow drying that I always focus the heat at the top of the root first and then drag my brush down. I really make sure to keep my brush really taut while I'm pulling that hair down because that's going to help keep it the smoothest the longest. Also making sure that that concentrator is pointing down. If you start going a little bit crazy with the concentrator, it's gonna blow your hair all wild and then you're going to get frizzy hair. So make sure that it's constantly pointing downwards. Now that we're all dry, we have the option of leaving it just like this, but we're going to take it a step further and we're actually gonna flat iron this in. So I had to take a quick break because mom life, reality is, is sometimes we can't just do everything in one foul shot. So I'm back, our hair is dried. Next thing we're gonna go in with is the Color Wow Pop and Lock. This is a high gloss finishing serum. It creates shine locks in the color. It actually has all these glitters in it. These are little bits of mica. So when you flat iron this in your hair, it kind of melts down and creates that high shine finish. This is a staple in this look. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take two pumps because I have long hair. And you can really see like the shine that this gives off. This isn't a super greasy product, which is really great. So we're just gonna get that all in there. Now, I usually take everything from the ponytail down with my serums, and then any like residual stuff that I have left over, I'll bring through the top because I don't want it to get oily on the top super fast. Brush that through. All right, so now we're gonna section this off and we're gonna flat iron. I don't love flat ironing my hair anymore. I don't need that much heat every day. Who remembers flat ironing their hair every single day? I graduated in 07 and I was a teenager. 
That was the thing to do. So shiny. Actually move my mirror over here again. So I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I was using the camera to watch myself flat iron. Make sure while you're flat ironing, you're taking very little sections. You wanna make sure that each hair strand is as smooth as possible. I tend to take my brush and run it through the ends while I'm doing this. That way it just straightens out every little piece of hair while we go. I really want to focus that flat iron at my root quite a bit because I tend to get really curly frizzy hair at the root. So if you also get that, make sure that you're really focusing at the top. There we have it guys. This is the finished glass hair. The really great thing about using these products in your hair is your hair will last really shiny and smooth and straight through a rainstorm. They will last through sleeping, unless of course you're braiding your hair in your sleep, but this will keep your hair very straight until you wash it. And then the dream coat will last in your hair up to three shampoos, which is really crazy for a product to last in that long. So you don't even need to reapply the dream coat every single time you shower. I'm so obsessed, you guys. If you guys are excited for more videos like these, any stylist secrets, tips, tricks on hair, any beauty industry insight, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I do need your opinion on something. I started mainly doing the beauty industry, which is my true passion. I am a cosmetologist. I love the beauty industry. I love all things hair. A lot of you have actually said that you're going to miss my vlogs. So let me know. Maybe I'll do one day a week beauty and one day a week vlogging. Let me know how you want to see it. I do have a video on Valor's birthday party and maybe a little recap of his first year of life that I would like to post. So let me know if you guys want to see two days a week, if you want to see one day a week, rotating vlogs and beauty industry, let me know because I really like your opinion on that. But for now, I am going to let you go. If you guys want to see more videos that are hair related, I have these two videos here for you. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you as part of my family and I have new exciting things coming for this year. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell.